Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the next video of lab seven of PC five seven three advanced period logic. So in the previous video, we completed the block diagram design and the bit stream generation. So the now next step is to export your hardware files and the launch the SDK. Then in the SDK, you will use the same code as we have used in the previous lab, where you will communicate with the DMA and you will send the data of size 32 elements to the DMA, which will be then forwarded to the find IP. And then the output of the find IP will be received by the DMA and it will be stored in the memory. So I'll quickly go through the code. The code is very simple. So you can see that I'm using the SCP port. And in the SCP port, I'm doing the DMA configuration first. After the DMA configuration, I'm generating the random set of inputs. Now, these are I'm, I'm then initiating the transfer from the DMA to the device and DMA device to the DMA. I'm doing the polling mode of the DMA where I'm checking the status of the DMA and I'm printing the value, which is the input value as well as the output value. And I'm repeating this experiment uh, for EX50 time, which is the three. Okay. So let's quickly run the code on the remote hardware. So this is my JTAG terminal. Uh, what we can do is that uh, we can first run the code and see the, uh, the display output. So here you can see that the, the inputs which are uh, generated are passed to the IP. So there are three experiments, each of 32 times. And whenever the input is four, the output is one. Because in our uh, we a block diagram, if you see the input, it is set to four, I guess. Yeah, value is set to four. So whenever the value of the input is four, the output is one, the rest of the time, output is zero. So this is how you can validate your any IP, which is the extra stream compatible and connected to the DM. Uh, you can also look at the timing diagram uh, using the ILA and leave it to you to analyze the timing diagram. So with this, we have completed the lab seven. Uh, in the, uh, you can uh, try to create the multiple uh, different types of IP which are stream channel compatible using the HLS and verify the complete design flow from the HLS to the IP creation, from the IP to the block diam uh, diagram, then the bitstream generation, and then the communication, uh, writing the application code in the software uh, with the help of the uh, yeah, let's take it.